Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, 412-575-2600. That's how you get in on the phone, and if you would like to tweet, it's at KD Pomp at Gene Collier. Funny, last night we were talking a lot about Clint Hurdle and all the decisions that go into a managerial day, and that's true everywhere. But tonight we had a curious one, and it turned out to be the wrong one, and I didn't like it when I saw it. Bottom of the ninth inning, Pirates Trail 2-1 in a game against Arizona. And Cole Tucker is up. He's scheduled to be up anyway with Jason Martin at second base, representing the tying run after he advanced on a wild pitch. And so they pinch hit him for Jung Ho Gung. So Gene Collier of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette is here, outstanding columnist. So let's talk about this a little bit. Number okay. one, Cole Tucker is a young kid who's playing with a lot of energy. Number two, he has three extra base hits in his first three games. Number three, he's a switch hitter, which means he could bat left-handed against Holland, their closer, who's a righty. And number four, Jung Ho Gong pretty much stinks right now, batting 143, striking out more than 50% of the time. Did you find that surprising? You got a number five? Cause that's no, I keep going argument. if you want me yeah, to. but yeah. <laughs> uh, That's one of those things, Bob, where I can argue either side if you want. Uh, but what would be the rationale to put Gung in? Well, the rationale is that uh, in that situation uh, where you need um, – you know, you're really looking for a home run, um, and Clint Hurdle wants to send somebody up there with more than 20 major league at bats against a veteran closer. Uh, that makes sense to me. However, like you, I didn't like it. I think that's, uh, you know, uh, from a fan's perspective, I'd just rather watch Cole Tucker bat in that situation for the for the reasons you enumerated, including that. You know, he is a switch hitter. But I don't know what uh, Gung is against Holland. I don't know if he's ever faced him. Uh, Clint Hurdle may know more about that than us, hard as that is to believe. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I can argue either side of that. I mean, either way is fine with me. Well, it's not with me, just because Gung has know, not showed me anything. He hasn't you're played. About this before the show. Yeah, I was. I was. I didn't like it as soon as I saw it. I just, Clint, Gung, has really Gung showed you anything? Has, has he showed you anything? No, he's He has really, three home runs, but that's about it. Yeah, he's really terrible right now. He's striking out so much. But everybody in baseball is, so and that doesn't really distinguish him. Well, I mean, it's one decision. It turned out to be didn't matter. They lost anyway, 2-1. to one, and, would, yeah, and, if, and if Tucker had gotten out, they would have lost. And don't um, forget, if uh, Gung homers, nobody's talking about it. Yeah, I understand, but he um, didn't. And, he, and he, hit, uh, he swung at one in the dirt, and then he popped one benignly out to left. So, point is, they lose 2-1, to one, and they spoil another starting pitching effort by Trevor Williams, who was outstanding, seven strong innings, and uh, a play at the plate, which, you know, would have been easier, I think, but it was a tough play for Bell at first to make. Frazier elected to come home. Jared Dyson's fast. The original call on the field was a wrong call, called out, yeah. overturned quickly. Frazier did not get much on that. No, throw. but that was a long throw anyway. I don't know. It was a long throw, but he didn't set himself, and he could. He had time right. to do that. Anyway, uh, two one loss. So the Pirates have now lost three in a row. We're taking your calls on that at four one two five seven five twenty six hundred. Also, we're going to talk about uh, game sevens, and we had another one tonight. We have two, as a matter of fact, one ongoing. But the one that concluded, Boston at home took advantage and beat Toronto 5-1. to one. They got two empty net goals to make that look yeah. much worse than it was. Toronto actually had some great chances. Two caress was great. So Boston now moves on to take on Columbus, Gene. And that's an interesting set. Uh, Columbus hasn't played in a long time, but they're coming off a four-game sweep yeah. of Tampa. Boston's real good. How do you see that one? Well, the Islanders. well I mean, uh, you know, um, the uh, Toronto-Boston result is exactly as you uh, predicted and exactly the opposite of what I predicted. So I don't, I don't know what to say about Columbus except that they're amazing. They're behind 3 nothing in the first game and, you know, swept the uh, number one seed. So uh, I, I just don't know what to make of them. I mean, that, that's really surprising. The whole playoffs have been crazy, quite frankly. We saw Dallas win in overtime, eliminate a division winner, Nashville. So Nashville's out. And if the Capitals should lose tomorrow, against Carolina in a game seven. They lost game six last night. All four division winners will be out. Mm -hmm. And both number one seeds. And we've mentioned a number of times on this show, I believe, that the regular season does not mean anything. Yeah, but this is the worst case scenario. This, this is it's worse than it's ever been. been. Yeah, it is. And Vegas is going on tonight, and tomorrow we'll see Caps 
and Canes. And we have the NFL draft coming up as well. More information on that. If you'd like to let us know what you think on it's so crazy at this point to even try to figure it out because things change with one trade that you may not see now that will happen and surprise you later. A lot to talk about as always. Give us a shout right here. It's 412-575-2600. This is the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're here seven nights a week taking your calls on Pittsburgh CW. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter.